Hey, what's up, everybody? So the other day, John and I were sitting down here at Dominic's Beach Barn, having a couple drinks with the godfather himself, Dominic. Well, behind us, there was a group of guys having this very intense conversation, and they were talking about this most dangerous bar in Sosua. So obviously, my ears perked up. I want to know, in these guys' opinion, what's the most dangerous bar in Sosua? And it turns out they were talking about the Habali Bar, which is great because I actually know the owner. So I'm going to take you guys down and show you the most dangerous bar in Sosua. Not only am I going to show you the bar, I'm going to show you how to get there. So this should all look very familiar to you savages out there. This is what I call the four corners area. You got Rumba's over on the right, Chez Montreal on the left. This is pretty much the heart of the strip. But we're gonna go past that if this guy ever makes this turn. Come on, buddy. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right, finally, continuing down the road on this glorious tour. Look, a lot, and a lot of guys come into town, they don't even get farther than this point. It's rumbas and the beach, and that's normally what they stick to. But you can walk down to this side of town, and trust me, it's safe. It's the old City Lights building. So Sua Lights, City Lights. That club back in the day, <laughs> that used to be a fun spot to go and hang out. Lots of pretty girls, a lot of Haitian girls in there, and you could dance until the wee hours of the morning until the whole change occurred here. Now it's been shut down for, man, I think almost two and a half years now. The owner of it built a new sports bar down past Envy, and he also owns High Society Club down there too, which I don't think that one's open yet either. But we'll see. Big changes coming to Sosua, evidently. I'm not gonna get into them. It's not my business. That girl was not hard to look at back there. Super Surf Liquor on my left hand side, one of my favorite stores in town. As we continue our tour down the street. This is a different video for me. Normally, I'm Mr. Sunshine. I do beaches, travel stuff. I very rarely venture out into the bars and video those at night. There's a couple little small bars. One of them we call the Dive Bar. They've got a barbecue set up outside right there. Ribs, chicken, really good food, really cheap. They also have a little buffet inside that you can get like potato salad and stuff like that. Left hand side also Europa Hotel, Ramona's inside, inside that bar right there. Great restaurant to come have breakfast, air conditioned. Plan B. Again, all this completely safe to adventure up, walk down here from the strip. You're, no one's gonna bother you. Just you know, keep your senses about you. Don't do anything silly. Club residential condos. Against uh, nothing scary yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Trying not to hit a moto or have a moto hit me again. Cheers bar on my left hand side. No danger in there at all. Also, not a bad spot to come down and have a nightcap. For those keeping track at home, I'd say we're about, eh, about a 10 minute walk from that Four Corners area downtown. So not gonna kill you. 50 to 100 pesos on the back of a moto and you're here in less than 30 seconds. Most of you guys have seen this street either in the back of a taxi or on the back of a moto at midnight. I got you. Hang in there, we're almost there. Apologies for the dirty windshield, not very professional. Okay. Calmado de la Cruz, this is your point of reference. This is your main landmark because right next door, the most dangerous bar in Sosua, Abali Bar. 
Let's go in and see what all the hubbub's about. This is it. This is the spot, the most dangerous bar in Sosua by and far. Let me give you a little bit of a lay of the land. In the back, we have a pool table. We have some very scary looking young Dominican kids. I don't know what they're up to yet. We'll have to keep an eye on them. The bartenders in here are absolutely fierce. As you can tell, she's got her knit hat. That means don't mess with me. <laughs> keep going. A little bit later into the evening, things get really tense in here. Now, I kind of keep my back to the door because I want to make sure somebody can't come up on me from behind. But I'm going to move around here just so you guys get a better view of this terrifying bar. Work our way slowly to the back. Don't make eye contact with anybody. Just kind of blend in. Boys, que lo que, wah, wah, wah. Made the turn safely. There, one full loop of the most dangerous bar in Sosua, we have survived it. Look, there's a lot of sarcasm in this video, I get it. But when I'm sitting on the beach and I hear a bunch of guys talking about how dangerous this bar is, like, come on guys, I've been down there a dozen times, it's, a friend of mine owns it, it's not dangerous at all. I mean, look at the girls in here, really? This is actually, it's a great spot to come and hang out at night for obvious reasons. You're gonna find a lot of expats in here. The kids playing pool in the back, they're fine. Uh, don't go back there and start gambling with them though, unless you wanna lose some money. Little tidbit about Dominican pool, they have different rules. You probably have no comprehension of how they're playing pool. I, I couldn't even begin to explain it. But, point is, this bar is completely fine. If you're in town, you're visiting, you want to come down here, jump on the back of a moto or a cab. You know, don't walk anywhere in town by yourself late at night. Have a wingman. Oh, if you need shoes, this is the spot. Buy one, get one free yesterday. Now, I will point out the most dangerous thing about this bar for me is I've got like four notifications from my girlfriend. Where are you? What time are you coming home? So I got to get my ass off the street. If I stay out much later, I'm in big trouble. You can't have a beautiful, smart, educated girlfriend in Sosua and be out on the strip. They're just not going to allow it. There's too much funny business going on down here. So I'm going to have one more beer and I'm going to take my tail home. Well, I might stretch it to two more beers, but then I'm going directly home. I'm not stopping anywhere. I'm definitely not going to the Copacabana tonight. I promise you. That was a soft promise, not a hard promise. And I've ended up at the Copacabana. This is a video for another day. Second most dangerous bar in Sosua. I was in big trouble when I came in the door last night, so I had to make some French toast this morning. As you guys know, chicas love French toast. I think I'm off the hook. Yeah, I'm good. Crisis averted. All right, I've got work to do at my own bar. Malibu's number 107, Playa Sosua, come down and check us out. I also have a ton of new videos coming out. I got to get to work, edit them. Just a reminder, guys, you come to Sosua, there's so much more to do down here than just hang out at the bar or down on the strip. So if you haven't, hit the subscribe button, follow along, leave me some comments, hit that like button, help the algorithm, more videos to come. Danny, Sosua1, signing off.